Hello everyone, Jura C here, ready to get back to Blender for our uh, game project we're working on. So let's dive back in. And I've already got the next model we're working on loaded up. And we just need to export it into the right format and then over here in the model editor for Game Studio, load it. In, load it. Load the model in. Don't know why that was so hard to say. All right, let's export this as an FBX. And we want the ASCII version. Don't need lamp, camera, or empty and don't need default tape. All right, export, and over, hang on, there we go. Over in med, can import model from FBX. Want PT tower? Just make sure everything's loading properly. Mesh. That looks right. Let's see if it matches up here. 525 vertices. Yes, and 296 faces. Indeed, that's a match. The texture file seems to have loaded properly. All right. Hit OK. And then hit it again. And there we have our model. Now, let's make sure that inner texture is there and it is all right so we can now save this and make sure it's a mdl7 file which it is so this is going to be pt tower there we go that's one Next up, switch back to this view while I get the right file opened up here. Because again, like before, I've got stuff for future projects I'm working on that I'm not ready to release yet. I'm not ready for you guys to know about yet. So I gotta, gotta make sure I keep that, keep that hitting away. Here we go. Next model. Go and open up a new one in there in med. So this is going to be the, <coughs> <coughs> this is going to be the, doorway or little door there so once again I'm going to go to export fbx oh but wait i just remembered we didn't do something with this that we really should so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and animate let's insert a Location, rotation, scale, keyframe here at frame one. And then we're just going to go to frame 50 and rotate it full open. Insert location, rotation, scale right there. And then we do a alt r here at frame 80 go ahead and insert another location rotation scale and we'll give it 20 frames for this so insert another location rotation scale now let's just run it through here
Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Now, end frame can be 100. There we go. And now we can export to FBX. Remove lamp, camera, and empty. Make sure the version is the right one. And no default take. Export. Now in med, can I import model from FBX? This time it's the door. And we've got the mesh and the texture and the scene. So let's see if everything worked out. Uh, let's see here. Animation did not work out. But that happens. Let's see. Did I not tick something for the export? Maybe we need default take on this one. Let's try it again. Import, model from FBX, the door. Ah, there we go. That did it. Everything looks right. There we go. We animate it and play the animation. Model is opening up. Then closing and sitting still for a while as it should. Now let's go to the frame manager. We need to rename these. So from frame zero to frame 50, it's going to be frame open our door open. So we just select all of these. Rename to open. And all of those frames are now labeled properly. And now we want to go to frame 80, which is going to be here, I think. Let's see, let's be sure here. Yeah, frame 80 all the way down to frame 101. Rename these. Uh, locked. And basically these are going to be the waiting frames that will be useful. Uh, we don't need 50 to 77, so let's delete those. I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine. Should be okay. And delete that one. Okay, let's run it through. So there it's opening up and locked, and then opening up again. So that's our door. And again, when it's locked, it's just going to be closed. We don't need an animation for it. But we do need some frames. So this is going to be PT door. And let's make sure the file save type is right. It's MDL7. Excellent. 
Go ahead and save it. All right. Like last time, let's switch views here for a moment while I load in the next model. So, and this looks like it's going to be the last one. Awesome. Okay. Got that ready. So here we are. Final file that we need to deal with. And let's just go ahead and file. Export. FBX. Uh, we want 6.1. No, no, and no. Don't need that. And export FBX. Over here in MED, let's go ahead and file import. Model from FBX. Taking the lock. Got the mesh. Got the texture. And the scene, so hit OK, and then hit OK again, and there's our uh, model. So we'll just go ahead and save this as PT lock. Make sure the file save as type is right. It is, so hit save, and we are done. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this time. See you all next time. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, uh, right here, let's move my head over, there we go, right here is going to be a, another video uh, in the future for the next in this particular series. And over here is going to be the previous video in this series, along with a subscribe button down below it. So feel free to give that a hit and uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And let's see. Oh, yeah, be sure to leave a comment. I'd appreciate knowing what your thoughts are. Until the next one, everyone.